Hey everybody, welcome to a new tutorial. This time it's about uh, Farzilla. Now, um, like me, many of you may want to uh, use Farzilla across more than one computer, like uh, on a laptop or a desktop. Um, the annoying thing when you do that is that um, if you click on um, Site Manager, um, you will have to enter all these details, you know, the servers, the usernames, the passwords on all different computers. And if you make a change here, then you'll go and you have to go ahead and make the changes on your laptop or wherever. Um, so you want to have this file, the file that contains all the servers, usernames and passwords. You want to have this on one single location so that once you uh, change some of it, it will change on your laptop or other computers as well. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and make the change so that you will have the file, uh, the site manager stored on one location and you don't need to go and edit on different computers. Okay, so my um, interface is Dutch. <laughs> I'm going to translate it into English um, in case you don't really know what it all means. So first of all, make sure you are working on the main computer, the computer that contains the site manager, that contains all the servers, usernames and passwords, which you want to share to other computers, such as your laptop. Okay, this tutorial uh, works for Mac, Windows and Linux. I'm obviously using a Mac, uh, a Mac sorry. <laughs> But um, you will find all the command details and all the directories in the description of this video. And make sure you edit those lines before you, you enter them to match your username and the directories you're going to create. Okay, there we go. First of all, in, on my Mac, I'm going to Finder and then Ga, which means go, and Ga naar Map, go to folder. Okay. Um, the location for the FileZilla site manager is config.config slash FileZilla. Go. You will find this directory also in the description of the video. Now you will find this file. It's called site manager. Just go ahead and copy this file to a central location such as your Dropbox. So just copy it to your Dropbox get it in a specific directory wherever you want to store it to make sure it's safe. So once you copied it into Dropbox, remove the file from here. Okay, so just get it out of here. I will put it here so you see what happens. Um, make sure you copy it first, then get it out of the directory. Now if I launch FileZilla and then I click on Hosts, you will see it's empty because it's not in here anymore. We delete, we got it out of here. It's in your Dropbox folder. Okay, so in my case, I have put it in a directory called FileZilla and there it is, File Manager. This is my central file, the one that you want to share it with other computers. Check out the description in this video and check out the command line that you need to enter into your Mac modify it to match your username and the directories of your Dropbox location and then go to terminal, paste the line in here and hit enter. So once you've done that, you will see that if you go back to the folder config FileZilla, you should have the site manager in there again. Okay? Now you can close this, check out if it works, go to FileZilla, click here, and you will see all your servers with all the login details that you need. Okay, now you need to do the same thing for your laptop. Only thing is, you don't need to copy the, uh, the Site Manager XML to your Dropbox because you don't want that one, you want to use the one that's already on your Dropbox. So what you're going to do on your laptop is go to Finder, ga, go, uh, go to Folder, 
there it is, you will find the same site manager on your laptop. Just get it out of there, delete it, you don't need this one. And then enter the same command line in your terminal that you did on your computer. Once you do that, you will see that the computer generates a new site manager. Okay, so once you've done that, you will see that both FileZilla pro, uh, apps will use the same um, site manager from your Dropbox, which means that now if you make a change on either one, on your laptop or your computer, you will see that the changes will also be available on the other device. So, okay, that's it. Make sure you um, check out the description of this video for the command lines on Windows, Mac and Linux. Um, change them to match your username and the directory you're using and you should be all done. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you uh, <laughs> hit the like button and share it or comment, whatever. Have fun and see you next time.